Hello everyone, today we are solving day 12 of uh, Advent of Code. Let me start the timer as usual and let's go see how, what this day is about. Okay, blah blah blah. The ports are, pots are numbered with zero in front of you to the left. The pots are numbered minus so on to the right plus your puzzle implementing a list of pots from zero to the right and whether they do or do not currently contain a plant, the initial state, no other pods currently contain plants. Find a look at list pods from zero to the right, no other they do. Uh, for example, initial state indicates this pod zero, three, four currently contains plants. You puzzle but also contains some notes you find on nearby tables. Someone has been trying to figure out how these plants spread to nearby pods. Based on the notes for each generation of plants, a given pod has or does not have a plant based on whether that pot and the two pots of either side of it had a plant in the last generation. They are written as L L C R R N, where L are pots on the left, C is the current pot being considered, R is are the pots to the right, and N is whether the current pot will have plant in the next generation. For example, a note like dot dot hash dot dot means that a pot that contains a plant but with no plant within two pots of it uh, will not have a plant in it during the next generation and not like blah 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 means an empty pot with two plants on each side of it will remain empty in the next generation not like blah 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 means that a pot has a plant in a given generation if in the previous generation zero plants in that pot the one immediately left and the one, one two pots to the right but not in the ones immediately left it's not clear what these plants are for, but you are sure this is important. So I'd like to make sure the current configuration of plants is sustainable, determining what will happen after 20 generations. For example, given the following input, blah, blah, blah. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, for brevity, in this example, only the combination which do produce a plant are listed. Your input includes all possible combinations. Then next 20 generations will look like this. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, generation is shown along to the left, where zero is the initial state. The pot numbers are shown along the top, shown... Um, wait, what? Um, oh, zero, ten, twenty, thirty, okay. Where zero of the center pot, and zero of the center to the left. Two generation the seven plants remain, the one put one by the second part of the generation, the put shown the number of plants, the furthest left on each is put minus two, and the furthest right each twenty three. Adding up all the numbers of plant containing pots after twenty generations produces the sum of the numbers of pots which contain pots. Okay, so basically we have to again emulate like cell apparatus or something like that, okay? Um yeah, let's well basically Let's copy this to the input, right? Um, so it took me three minutes to just understand the problem. Um, yeah, let's copy this to the input. Uh, so we consider the first line to be state, right? Def initial state. Well, basically, yeah lines the first next lines right so this is this is this so initial state this are rules right okay cool um i probably want that to the convert this to this to the map right so basically for as in next lines, let um, from two area matches. Um, so the regular expression will be dot or hash plus uh, star s this. A star and then yeah like this so basically this is from and this is two right 
Oh, wait. Yeah, this is too. Huh. Syntax error, uh, yeah, of course, I always forget the string. String can be cast. What? This has to be a vector. Let's see. So, five dots return dot. Yeah, basically we have all, all the combinations and now we have to emulate like um, like evolution of the input, right? So basically, basically, um, do we need the numbers? Uh, okay, 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 so, um, huh. state initial state would be basically zero which is a starting index right and and basically this string so what we do from this is um, next state right so basically we, we, we took state index and String, right? Let's call, let's call it S. So we take this as in our initial state, and what we want to know, what we want to do is, well, basically, we start with. Okay, let me let me figure this out. So basically, yeah, <laughs> sorry, I, I keep in, keep saying basically. So um, uh, we need uh, so in our situation index can go as far as two steps to the left right so basically uh, <laughs> so, uh, we have uh, to decrease it by two and we have to uh, change the string with this so so that we don't go outside of um, So outside of the boundaries of the original string. So now we want what well, this is what we want, right? So now we want e uh, to be in range of we can't use zero, we can use one. We, we we want to use two, and something like that. Um, let me let me use this oh, it's shortened right so but anyways uh well yeah i can i think i can use this as an example input here like this and we we will add a new rule that if there is no rule we will uh, the plant dies basically uh, now um now what do we need, right? So uh, we need a substring. So substring will be uh, like a cre uh, hmm. uh, let's call it surroundings, and it will be substring of s dash. Um, yeah, let's call it base index because otherwise it's not clear what it's for. We might not even need it. Uh, so we start with s uh, minus i2 and plus, plus i2. So uh, how long of the string does it give us? Let's see. I'm gonna put 
if it's the one in these as four, right? So I need these as so say i is two, then yeah. It's like that. So this is surroundings. And basically what we what we are going to return is this right we are going to return get rules surroundings and otherwise this and then we just string drawing everything well can can plants go to the left in that case I don't think we can We consider that on the left there is nothing, right? Yes? What? How do they extend to the left? No, 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 no. This is our current plan, right? Or if, if there is nothing at all on the right, um, okay, let me think a little bit. Let me think a little bit. Maybe I need four, four dots. Oh, okay, let's add four just in case. So this will be our, our result, it's going to be uh, what these plants have lived for. Now in order to this string not to keep getting longer and longer, wait no, this, this, this is incorrect, we have to start this too. we need to shorten it basically trim on the left okay let me check if i can write this area find something like that but in the this is the beginning of the string right Okay, so this is this is um, like that. This is how much we want to drop dots on the left on or, or on the right. Now we have to trim this result with for that amount. So, so our result will be like a substring of result starting from trim left. So set zero, yeah, starting from trim left and ending at. So if they are both zero, if you write as one, yeah, it seems seems about well wait, 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 wait. Start and no, and it's just that. Okay, and 
new uh, base index, the new one, it would be um, base index minus four because we added four here, and but. Minus four. Well, yeah, let's, let's just do that. And so if we if we trim to one, we have to increase by one, right? Uh huh. Let's see if <laughs> this gets us where we want to be. Let's let's just calculate the next state of initial state. It's new call because I didn't return anything. Okay, so it's minus two. It, it shouldn't be minus two. It should be zero, actually. Something is not right. Something is not right. Something is not right. Okay, let's see. Let's let's print res here just for the our information. Uh, get dot put. So this is our res, which is oh, this is strange. Huh. Uh huh. Um, um, we have to start from this dot, right? Because this is the first dot can, can, that can reference like the first character from here. So we start from 0, 1, 2. But this is not the end result condition is not right. It has to be like that. I doubt it will change anything. Yeah. So hmm. So we added four strings. Huh. We also collapsed two in here. By starting from there we already collapsed two, right? So this is what we should get. Okay, so index is zero and oops how do I go management? So index is zero and then we have three white space, I think, four white space, I think. Five of space, sync, two, 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 and blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's see. Let's. We don't need that. Um, let's print state as. Okay, so we are doing this. We take initial state. We apply iterate next state out. And we take 20. Including we take 21. And we print it. Let's see what it outputs. Okay. Um, now I have two outputs now. I don't need that. Let's see if yeah no. Okay, so it's minus two. Yeah, it looks it looks fine. And now what we have to, to do is actually calculate the, the value, right? So well we 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 take um, we 
function in this scheme this is not ideal this is going to be our end state This is going to be our end state. Now we have to, well, end state is um, race index and stream point. So what we are going to do is we are going to reduce uh, we are going to do zip zip is done with map vector string range race index till infinity this is our collection we start with zero and this is what we get in an iterator function so we get sum and we get character it's a single character and its index. Now if character is equal to the hashtag we add index otherwise we just return some And it returns zero. Okay, uh, something is not right here. Let me print maybe string it should be renamed to S just in case. Okay, so that it has to print something, right? So our no, it still prints out. What the heck? Enter. Wait, what? Maybe I messed up with your eight. No. Why isn't anything printed? Well, something is printed actually in one step. Huh. I guess map isn't working. Because I, well, yeah, it, it has to be, it has to print just once, uh, because I, I didn't put it into reduce. Okay, let's let's see. If I put it here, now it should print like something. Oh yeah, because because it's not a start index, it's end index. And this thing always gets me. One eighty eight. Is it correct answer? No. Okay, so this is basically minus two. Uh, 
What is our output? Wait, what? Oh yeah, it's so. String, wait, string is different. Maybe I still have, I need to have 20 situation. Yeah, I need 20 situation. Okay, uh, now let's get to the real deal. So we basically ignore this. We calculate everything and 3738. And this is the right answer. Let me stop the timer. So it took 26 minutes. Okay. Well, it's reasonable, I think. You realize that 20 generations aren't enough. After all, these plants will need to last another for not to mention future. After 50 billion generations, what? <laughs> what is the sum of the numbers of outputs containing a plant? Okay. Okay. Let's put a gen here. Our gen will be 20. And hmm, we shouldn't definitely shouldn't print anything. And this is part two is basically calling part one with, with this. How long do you think it will take? I have no idea, actually. Let's Let's not find <laughs> let's find out but but slowly. Uh, let's start with ten thousand. Okay. Oh, I can experiment here. Okay, let's see how long it takes. So it takes two hundred milliseconds. This should take around two seconds. Yes. Okay, so this are three zeros plus three more. Plus three more. And we are just okay, let's say this is this is one million, so it should take around twenty seconds, right? Um, yeah, so I guess we shouldn't be using strings. What we could be using are sequences. Yeah, so it's 20 seconds for 1 million and we have Fifty thousand, one million. So this is like three hundred hours. Okay, it's it's long time. Yeah, let's see if we can use sequences. Say our sequence. Is there a subsec? There is subsec. Does it do? Sequence test. No, it's it's not. It's not what I need. Huh. 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 So we have to be a little bit smarter about it. Now so we have to redefine the rules. 
something like that. Okay, I will return our initial uh, test input here. Mm. So we're working with characters now rather than strings, which doesn't make much difference. Um, the sequence will be instead of Z, will be Z. Yeah, it seemed to work as expected. Uh, and the only problem here is subs, right? So basically is it is like that. Then drop some beginning of the string and then take We can optimize this further, but let, let me just see. How far can we, should we go? Um, maybe we shouldn't do... Maybe we shouldn't do the stream left thing. Because it's... Well, we can let the the string grow as long as as long as well, will it grow to the left? Really? This point. No. Using okay. So this are unnecessary. I will only make her look up longer. Yeah, this will make it grow to the left. Again, okay. again. Okay. Uh, let me figure out something with with the stream stream left. Or maybe Maybe we better write a smart substring. Oh no, we can't do that either. Can't. What we need if. Yeah, let's write. What I'm afraid of is this like uh, first four is easy, the last four is, is tricky. Okay. Um, It's, it's actually fine, but something like that, we need something like that. Maybe we should actually use a hash map. Would that be simple? Like, right? A hash map. Five lookups. Huh. 
instead of storing it in array, which would be pretty expensive to access at the end. Hash map, iterating over hash map. No. Okay, yeah, anyways. Um, if first four characters are dots, don't do anything. Otherwise, do this. We have to do, unfortunately, the same for the last four characters. Which is extremely inefficient. But let's, let's, let's do it anyway. Let's see the performance and then if you should optimize or not. Okay. So this is ash s like that. It rolls. Trim. We don't trim. Okay. We only grow. Uh, so this is an, an unnecessary. And now the base index. Well, basically, we have to add two because we start from two. Now something it's not happy about something whereas I guess we don't have one rest. Next state. Let's see if the part one is correct. It isn't. <laughs> Let's see next state of initial state. This is minus two. Yes, yes. Well, didn't yet. This is the same. Okay, and so the first one worked. Wait. This is strange because it obviously reports something that. So the second step reports minus four. The first step seems to be well minus three dot dot higher than three dots. So even the first step was incorrect. Okay. Okay. Um, even the first step is incorrect. Um, and we are doing test input, right? Yes. Um, maybe. Maybe I need to make it like a list too. Not about this problem. Oops. What? Mm. Yeah. It's me. I stop. Okay, it doesn't matter really. So rules seems to be 
This should be correct, right? I didn't change much. Um, Let's let's see if we uh, start at two, we drop exactly zero, right? Up here. Now we are talking. Mm. No, still not. <laughs> uh, something is still broken. change press index here. This is what's broken. And we are back in play. Let's see how long does it take now. Um, quite a lot. <laughs> it's even longer, I think. Right. It is even longer. Hey, um, that means that it means that we have to do our loop. I wish we had lists that we can append at the back, at the end. Oh, okay, this isn't funny. But anyways, maybe it, it finishes eventually. Okay, let's do the smart thing now, right? So we what we can do is actually we don't have to like figure out the parts of lists every time. What we can do is we can carefully iterate over. First, let me let me write a safe ends, which will take collection and index, and uh, not out of bounds value. And if index is less than zero, we return that. If index is bigger than or equals the count collection, we return all by value otherwise. And all index. Right. So this is safe and. Uh, let's still call it S. Uh, okay, so what we are going to do is we are going to do a loop. A loop will be starting with the index zero, because we understand zero. But it will be producing. Okay, so it took 160. It took six, six times longer. Okay, I wonder if actually matches uh, and, it, and it returns different value okay um this is not good anyways let's let's write it another uh, uh, one more time and see if we get better better value out of it okay so we start with zero 
Well, no. No, yes. This should start actually with minus two. Yes. And we need something that we can append to the end. Okay, so it, it will be a, a probably a result. Um, well, I guess this is, <laughs> this is a data structure that you can efficiently append to the end. Okay. Well, we can append to the vector, actually. Okay, let's start with, with a vector, okay? And then we will change. So what we're going to do is our surroundings are okay, first of all, if E is bigger, so what we want to be is let e uh, bigger or equals this is the maximal index we want to get right So if e is bigger, you just return something like that. Otherwise, we need to calculate surroundings. So surroundings are a list, and it is a list of. Let Let's make it a vector. Actually, yes. It will be a vector of safe ends. Mm. Yeah, so we have to repeat that this five times, which I'm totally happy to do. Minus one, just. I plus one and plus two. So this these are our surroundings. Uh, we know okay, but yeah, so we need to also to provide um, the default value, which will be in our case we don't have that in the collection. Can we really start with minus two? <coughs> The plant is get from rules surroundings and default value. Well, let's make this. Okay, this this one. So this determines if we should plant plant a plant. Okay, now now what do we need? So there are two options actually. If res well, what is res? There are two loops. No, this, this there is one loop. There is one loop. One loop. So res is uh, next state just does one this state one just once right so yeah if hmm. 
if we plant play plant here so we decrease this okay now if res is still empty so this is our natural dreaming actually um, if plant then we do almost nothing so we recur with increasing index increased base index and same rest okay if there is no if there is no plant but if there is a plant well Now, there's three situations. There's plant, right? So, the first situation is there is plant. If there is plant, we just increase E, keep base index, and contrast. Let's, let's, let's at least at least oh no, let's make it twenty later. Um, we put a plant, right? If uh, there is no plant, but rest is empty, we don't add anything. Otherwise, there is no plant, but we have to add. This is it. Hmm. This is it. This is it. Um. <laughs> but it's not working. But it isn't working. It isn't working. Because I, I have to, to take from S, not from. Okay, so there is minus two. Yeah, it's obviously well. Maybe it is correct. It, it seems to be correct. And it takes like ten times less ten times less time. So it should calculate the one million in about two seconds. Let's see. No. Nope. Already longer than two seconds. It is strange, but anyways, let's try. Let's try something small. Let's try a thousand for a change. So safe ends should be pretty efficient. Uh, we start with list, but we can start with VEC as well. Oh, we're using wrong input. This, this is why the answers are different. Mm. I hope I don't have to restart. Okay, I guess I have to restart. The Apple. Now, yeah, now V 
gives different answer, but well, it's still 21 millisecond. I wonder why that is. So it's about a second. Okay, let's see if transients help. And next stop will be Java arrays, obviously. tries to what? Mm. I just want to if if I want to see my number so sixty five so transient can be checked for emptiness huh. okay. It helps, but not so much. Oh, 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 I'm stupid. We don't need five gets. We just need one get. Huh. Yeah. But it's, it's for later. Okay, yeah, one more thing. Let's let's try Java audio. Link list. And uh, array list. Let's try Java audio array list. First. Just trying to figure out whether we Yeah, something is not right here. Okay, so I have this help installed. Yes, 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 released and let's specify to the end. Okay, cool. So, where is Boolean in there? is the Buddha.
least it's less than than true. Oh, because other day returns true. Oh my god. It won't even calculate. Huh. Why? Because, yeah, because this is really broken. Now it works. Okay, now I got our time to take six by second. So one second. That's, it's not that fast, right? But, 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 um, we can actually avoid recalculating the surroundings by uh, we're basically storing them. Uh, so we start with the surroundings from oh yeah and on the thing is oh, that I don't have no idea how to efficiently drop okay so this has to be link list in draw and then i wouldn't be able okay let's let's check the algorithm first okay basically next surroundings is current surroundings then we make next, so we drop the first element and we get this to the end. And in recursion. Seconds before that, it was six seconds. <laughs> okay, let's see what the results. Yeah, it, it, it became longer, it became longer. Okay, hmm. okay, okay. So, next, our next step is not to use. I'm going to use linked list here. Actually, we have like deck. Yeah, yeah, let's use. Let me first figure out what the syntax for linked list is. Can it be created from collection? Yeah, it can. Mm. It seems to work. 
it would probably have a different hash code so we cannot look it up in our hash map that easily mm, it also i hope it has something like yeah there's something i remember i remember yeah there's some like long explanation of what different methods do remove first okay remove first mm. we, we also need to check for reflection actually well, yeah, okay, I'll check. And does it have also something like at last? Oh, yeah, perfect. Now, when we look this up, we're surrounding, right? We're using the wrong surroundings, by the way. No, no, we're using correct surroundings. Mm. Rules has to be from linked list as well. Okay. It's time to do proper imports. Okay. So here we need this. Do we still have a ready somewhere? I think this should be a linked list. Well, if it is a linked list. Um, well, we only need to add to the end, right? Okay, let's see how link, link list works. So it's a double linked list. Okay, so It would be nice if they like wrote uh, performance um, cost of it. Okay, let's use linked list here. If it's a double linked list, so probably they keep uh, the the end of the list around as well. And this should be handful for us. Um, mm -hmm. At last. Okay, 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 sorry. So I can't do that really because it's mutable and the order matters. So yeah, it's hard to work on mutable languages, but still. Zero. Okay, so it's not working. Cool. Hmm. Can't we look up? because no. yeah so it's probably it just isn't working it should work on this on this form Let's see if we get any answer. Tense isn't supported on this type. Okay, cool. But huh. there's get, right? Okay, so now get is, is becoming inefficient. 
So we should probably keep some iterator around or something. Um, Persistent vector cannot be cast to Java linked list. Okay, where did we get the persistent vector? Initial state. And now we are back to the initial numbers. One second for thousand elements. Yes, I got it. Um, the only thing I was wondering. Actually, what our value of this is? Right. Let's see if we get any warnings. Reloading, for example. No warnings at all. Everything is resolved. This is strange. Even here. Uh -huh. Reflection warning. Okay, then I'm out of kind of out of ideas. Well, <laughs> we can try to use iterator as well, so that we don't. the surroundings for i minus minus two all start with and then like that yes yes now Now we want to, to be this to be linked list. Yeah, I'm just checking that it still works. It still works. Okay, now um, what we need to do is is we need to have an iterator over <sighs> if only I remembered how iterators work. Java. Uh, this is something new for me. I believe this should be like just iterator. Iterable, yes. Iterator. Mm. Well, yeah, basically we have to, um, let's call it iterator. So this iteration should be way faster, way faster. Um, yeah, and addition should be faster as well. So iter is iterator of s. Instead of the, uh, here we call next s. And oh, just recur with the same iter, right? Because it's mutable. Oops. So next, yeah, because it's cool. Type warnings. Mm, how fast? Slightly faster, right? No, not really. Not really. 
not really faster. If you put a list in here. Okay, now Java tries to do something. Wait, 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 wait. I did something wrong. I, I did something wrong. Now we're talking. So now we are, we are actually using iterator, and now we are like four times faster, which is still awfully terrible, awfully terrible. What should we optimize? So there are still no warnings. I probably should move this up here. Actually, I should add this to the stump. Terribly, terribly slow. So to calculate ten thousand, we need. What? Two seconds. Twenty two seconds. What? Wait, what? Ten times more and we and we now need a hundred times more. This is not right. This is not right. Okay, let's let's see if I can where is rest used? And empty and why is isn't the radist working here? Fifty-five. What? Fifty-five. Because. Right, this has iterator. It does, right? It has her count as well. Time is slowly bigger. So I'm out of ideas actually. So I probably should end this video and do my thinking and do my research. Um, well, one idea I still have probably is that, well, this is a hypothesis, right? So if if the resulting array is somewhat sparse, meaning there are just few um, of the, I don't know, <laughs> uh, 
just few of few plants and then iterating wouldn't be efficient but um, oh it's easy to check right we can just uh, print my syntax address and well we can actually do something like that let's see Is it going to be a long string? Probably yes. Mm. Okay, so this is a string. And it's actually yeah <laughs> um hmm this is interesting so yeah just looking at it explains kind of what's going on so let me So we should be doing three on the right. So, okay, so I now I see the nature of the text. So, um, we cannot really solve that in general case. Like if the rules were that these plants they like spread around, then it would wouldn't be solvable for something like this. But uh, because. Um, Because they so they fine tune the rules so that the amount of plants doesn't really grow. So it's like um, a game of life where um, there are structures that repeat themselves and move, but don't really change. So they don't grow; they just move, change the position, uh, but they stay like uh, the same, but in, at another position. So this is like that. Actually, we can. Uh, we can just take this string as it is here in the beginning. Uh, the index is pretty clear, so one, every operation it moves it moves right. So if I add one here, we will get the, exactly the same structure, but with plus one index. And we can actually hack this, right? But I want to do this correct, or do do I? Okay, so if we figure out a way to strip on the right, um, yeah, we can we can do that. Huh. So basically, basically, um, we have some buffer here, and um, the buffer size is zero. Because we're using mutable list, we some buffer is not added. Um, skips. If we find out the plant, we have to add them. Then we add the plant itself and press and zero. And we skip the buffer. So, yes, if um, the rest is empty, we don't change the buffer, but it's probably still zero. But let's not just change it. Otherwise, if we we don't add straight away. Instead, we return the same res, but we increase the buffer. So the point is, if at the end we have some unadded empty space, we don't care about it, really. But Okay, now something is uh, something 
can clear the static channels. Maybe I should put now closure isn't happy somehow. Um, no buffer. I, I put it in the wrong place actually, so sorry about that. I put it before the iter. It would be nice if we would if we can have uh, named recur. Okay, let's see how fast it is. Okay, it's instant. It's instant. Um, and uh, let's see if it returns. It seems to, to return what we expect. So let's try it on 10,000. Okay, less instant. Let's try it on 100,000. License. Maybe okay. Uh, so a million will be twenty seconds, and uh, I'm actually kind of disappointed because after all these conversions to really efficient data structures. Oh, sorry, I need to use link list here, not array list. Oops. Let's wait. So it's it should be twenty seconds, and then we compare with. Realist. Oh, English, sorry. Okay, yeah, it's 26 seconds, so let's change this. And so now instead of two, three almost seconds, so we get it uh, 10 times faster again by using link list. And yeah, so 100,000 is two seconds. And a million is 20 seconds. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. So what we actually need is um, is this. We can do that a thousand or... Yeah, yeah, let's, let's wait it out. And then we'll probably start hacking. So you cannot really get this result probably probably you cannot get it algorithmically right so it's it would be way too slow i, I am um, frankly i have no idea what can be improved here we use most optimal data structures we we use iterators again efficient ones right so we we do not we don't do like repeating operations and so on. So this isn't needed anymore. This, yeah, the, the, the downside is that we actually get the, the performance. Well, we, now we are 10 times faster than closure version, I guess. Uh, let's, let's calculate. Let's see if I put this and I remove two zeros here. Okay, it's not interesting. Just, it just isn't working. Okay, who cares? Um, let's let's put it back. As I remember, we're ten times faster than closure version. So now we have the string. We just need to do a couple of manipulations. So first is um, let's calculate the results. So results are calculated like this. We take a string. Oh, this is correct, actually. <laughs> this is correct. Uh, we take a string. Oh, yeah, it is correct. We start with s, or vector s. So this is like that. Now, what we want to do is, so we know that the base index is this number minus 40, right? And 
this is our string. And this is our answer. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, this is tricky. So this is why you probably need to to take a look at your data. So, but this is this isn't fair. Like, yeah, yeah. Well, at least in task where the, the task about drones. It was kind of fair because you know that to recognize a message they would have to be in a small area which isn't exactly true it might be they might be even smaller area so you have to look around at closer results so there's like there's a previous task about drones and this one or stars and this one they are tricky in the case that you cannot actually write code that solves them, right? So you can't write code that, well, you can't write code that builds you a representation, but you have to interpret this as a person. Um, yeah. And and here as well, if you didn't look at the data, and if you didn't look at what ha what is actually happening, you wouldn't figure this hack out. So, yeah. <laughs> Why did you get this string? I don't know. So we basically get this from... Let's pretend we can write some code to do that, at least some parameterized code. Um, base index and Yes. We do that. No, we don't do that. Do we do that? No, we don't do that. We do that. Okay. Now, what we want to do is actually feed that to the results function but here instead of this is delta So, so we start with a thousand, and this returns like 960. So we know that the difference is 40, and we should. The difference is minus 40, like giant minus process. And we have to add this. Current No, this is. The difference is 40. And we have to subtract it from John. Actual John. I mean, oh, but we don't have to run it on this. We, we should do something like that. So basically. We can write a code that figures out the pattern starts repeating itself. But I don't really care after after what they did to me. I don't really care about it. Okay, it doesn't work. <laughs> um, yeah. It have to be minus gen minus like that. What? Yeah. 
Because when you do that, uh, you will get normal error messages in console uh, in this extension instead of getting just nothing. So this is part one, calculated for 20. Next state. Let's remove the next state. All this not needed. But we get to write like pretty efficient implementation, right? So nobody needs that, but, but we still did that. So, so whatever. So it was, I guess, a nice exercise or something. Um, let's go and see how much time people actually spent on this task. So this is day 12. Well, that's a pretty fast, pretty fast, so 30 seconds, 30 minutes. I sort solved part one in 26. Yeah. If only they knew, if only they knew. Well, the top one solved it in, uh, in nine minutes. So I guess, well, we could have noticed that if we had some sort of debug output. So I guess that helps eventually. Okay, anyways, let's commit all this. Uh, some changes, structural changes like this. Day 12 inputs, day 12 task, stop, timer, day 12. Okay, hope you enjoyed and Come tomorrow for more. See you.